For today's lesson in module number 3, we're going to discuss about the print, broadcast, and digital new media. So, sa lesson na to, our main objective is to identify the different types of media and identify or define, rather, the uh, media convergence in different contexts. Okay? So, ano nga ba yung tinatawag natin na print media? No? So, pag sinabi natin print media, these are the uh, media that is consisting of uh, paper and ink. And usually, nire-reproduce ito by means of printing process that is traditionally mechanical. So, kung pwede itong kinapid, na print na yung original copy, then copied by another one, mass production or mass printing. No? That is a print media. So, here are the examples of print media. We have the uh, newspaper. Wherein, under the newspaper, it has the Abante, Bandera, Balita, Bulgar, Philippine Daily Inquirer, Philippine Star, yan. So, and many more. We have a lot of examples when it comes on the print media. The newspaper is one of the example ng print media, no? So, pag sinabi natin newspaper, usually it is a periodical publication that is containing a written information about the current events, what is happening right now, and what is happening in the, uh, sa mga balita, ganyan. And of course, uh, it is also often a type, or it is often type in black ink with a white or gray background. So, a newspaper, it has its traditional, uh, since it has been published in print, Usually, sa mga cheap or mga low-grade newsprint, dun siya ginagawa, no? O dun siya ipinaprint. In the world of print journalism, the two main formats, or format rather, for newspaper are broadsheet and tabloid. No? When we say broadsheet, this are a type of newspaper that is uh, print in or published in English. Pag sinabi naman natin tabloid, these are the uh, type of newspaper that is published in Tagalog. So, strictly speaking, these terms are referred to its page size also. Mostly, the broadsheet is mas malaki. No? Mas malalaki yung pages niya kesa kay tabloid. Kasi yung tabloid mas uh, maliit naman siya kay broadsheet. Another example of print media is we have the magazine. Examples of magazine are, syempre, men's magazine, diba? Uh, entrepreneur magazine, diba? At meron pang iba. And, so, pag sinabi natin magazine, it is a periodical publication that is containing articles and illustrations typically covering a particular or area of interest. So, ang mga a target market ng magazine is yung kung sino lang yung, let's say, for example, the reader of the magazine who collects it is karaniwan is tungkol sa mga, uh, ang mga feature, features nito ay tungkol sa mga babae. Or ang mga pinifeatures ay tungkol sa business. Ang mga pinifeatures ay tungkol sa mga entrepreneur. No? Ang pinifeatures ay tungkol sa bahay. So, iba-iba ang nilalaman ng magazine. No? Hindi porkit merong babae na nasa harapan, ay eh, puro pang babae na. Or yung na-cover, no? ay eh, puro-puro sa babae na. Yung ah, laman ng magazine. Sometimes it also gives off an information on how a collector of a magazine or the reader of a ma magazine guides, no, or will be guide. So, proceed naman tayo sa broadcast media. Pag sinabi natin broadcast media, uh, this is a type of media such as radio, television, that reach the target audiences using airwaves or yung transmission medium. Let's say television, radio, di ba? Yun naman yung mga una natin talagang pinapanooran at pinapakinggan. Coming from the radio and coming from the television. So, here are the examples of the broadcast media. 
no? Na meron tayo ngayon. We have the GMA News TV, GMA, ABS-CBN, the UNTV, the IBC. Okay, GMA is Channel 7, di ba? ABS-CBN, Channel 2. UNTV is Channel 4, if I'm not mistaken. Then we also have the IBC dati, Channel 13. RPN 9, Channel 9. Okay, GMA News TV. I'm not familiar with kung saan siya, anong channel siya. Okay, we also have the ABS-CBN News Channel. We have the TV5, Action TV, yan, and many more. Pagdating naman sa, sa radio station, so yung mga binanggit natin is the uh, broadcast media na, sa, na gumagamit ng transmission through television. Ito naman ay sa radio naman. These are the radio stations that is available now. We have the DZBB 39.4, DZMM, now big 91.5, 89.9. Yan. So, yan yung mga uh, radio stations that uh, available, no? And uh, also an example, no, ng broadcast media. Now, let us proceed with the new media. So, yung content dito is organized and well distributed on digital platforms. So, ano-ano kaya yung mga digital platforms na sinasabi? Yung mga digital platforms na yan, babanggitin natin isa-isa. And alam ko na alam nyo rin kung ano-ano itong mga digital platforms na ito. No? So, digital media are interactive, incorporate in two-way communication. No? Which involves some of the form of computing. Social media forms of electronic communication such as website through which people create online communities to share information, ideas, personal messages, and even more. So, let us see what are the different examples of new media. So, dito na nga, pag sinabi natin new media, dito napapasok yung digital pla uh, platforms na meron tayo ngayon. So, we have the Twitter, LinkedIn, Facebook number one, Yahoo, Google, Google Plus, di ba? Then, we also have YouTube. Ayan. So, those are the examples of digital platforms that is available in the new media. No? Kasi we were actually in an information age where in lahat na no, ng mga information can be browsed through websites and internet. So, ano nga ba yung tinatawag ng media convergence? When we say media convergence, uh, it is a coming together of different equipment and tools for producing and distributing the news. No? So, pag sinabi natin media convergence, it means that it is the combination or the combination of all the medias, either broadcast or print media man yan, or digital platform or new media man yan, that is used in order to produce and distribute the news. Kaya kung mapapansin niyo sa Facebook, meron ng mga news, ah, meron ng mga news page. No? Kung saan nakakapagbalita sila tapos napapanood natin sa Facebook. No? Ang mga ang mga radio stations, ang mga televisions noon ay meron na rin silang mga accounts. No? Meron na rin silang mga platforms kung saan yung mga balita at no napapanood balita ay pwede na nating mapanood. No? Now, as 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 I have said earlier, uh, media convergence is the combination of new media, the old media within a single piece of media that is a work, the coming together to different media product, technology, either video, video gaming, or mobile phone. So usually, uh, ang kauna-unahan na nakagawa ng media convergence na to ay si Henry Jenkins. No? He was the one who come up with an idea na kung pwede pa lang i-combine ang old media sa new media. Kung pwede, lang, pwede pa lang i-combine ang broadcast media sa new media. 
no? So, uh, maaaring by a video gaming sa mobile phone or maaaring by computer, ba? Diba? So, blending of the media, telecommunications, and computer industries, the Britannica Encyclopedia defines media convergence as a phenomenon that is involving what? The interlocking of computing and information technology. No? So in this process, the uh, publishing of newspaper, magazines, music, radio, televisions, and even films is pupwede na through software. Pupwede nang gumamit ng mga software. So that is why, di ba kapag tayo ay, o kagaya na lamang, no? kayo ay nagkaroon ng project which is the film showing or short film rather. ba? Diba? So, una is ginamit niyo yung phone nyo, pagkuha niyo ng video. And then, gumamit kayo ng editing app in order for you to come up with a great combination of video. No? Or great output. So, media convergence actually brings together the three C's. Ano na yung three C's na yon? We have the computing, computer, communication, and contents. Computer yun, computing. That is computer, communication, and contents. So the process of convergence that application is built around the coming together of three things that were previously separated. No? So alamin natin kung ano-ano ba yung three C's ng uh, media convergence na yan. We have the content first. Pag sinabi natin content, uh, the music, the image, film, the TV, the radio, the magazine, no? books and games, napapaloob ito sa content. Okay? Ano ang nilalaman? No? What could be the possible contents that is in the radio, the radio stations within the content of ng book? Diba? Content ng isang video, ng isang film, ano ang gusto nitong iparating sa tao? No? That is a content. While ang computer naman, it contains the hardware and the software that can be used no? in order to produce what is in the new media today. And lastly is communication. When we say communication, specifically, Uh, pumapasok dito yung network telecommunication that is enabled to connect and download or even share no? as well as conversational or conversational interaction so sa communication ba diba, those platforms that we have here in new media led us to communicate not just in one person but also uh, but in other people.